I was in a plane coming here, and the flight attendant was a. Uh, I asked. It was a guy, and I asked him if um, if he could help me. I couldn't get my 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 suitcase up, and he looked at me like I was crazy, and he was like, "I don't have insurance, and I could hurt myself." And I was like, "Are you serious?" I'm like, "I'm a woman." And you're a man, well, you're a flight attendant, so I guess you're not really, I guess you're not really a man. <laughs> Boy, you'd better quit all your sexist ways. So here I'll manifest one of the modern age. It's time to undermine the masculine confines. Cause we don't want to grind. You think that you're so slick. Let me emasculate you. Now, I heard you're getting married. You're engaged to be married. To whom are you engaged? Oh, thank you. Thanks for clapping, audience. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, they do. I mean, you could get an abortion on every Jewish holiday, and it would be OK. What? I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to get an abortion, but you know, it's just nice to, it's like AAA, like you're not gonna use all those toes, but no, it's just nice to know. <laughs> but yeah, so I just, I'm so nervous for my fam, my family's coming out and they're all gonna get together and like oh, my boy. parents haven't talked in 20 years. Oh and, like, boy. They're all gonna be in my yard. Are it's they just... gonna stay with you, your parents? No. No, okay. <laughs> But, I mean, how, the, the baby was born, what, two months ago? Yeah. That's incredible. And are you back to doing stand-up yet or anything? Oh, no, no. I, I'm, I really want to just spend as much time as I can with my baby and her nanny right now. <laughs> 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 so. But, like, the last time my parent, like, the last time my family was together was at my Nana's funeral. And my brother, I live in Rockford, Illinois, or I'm from Rockford, Illinois. My brother, uh, who lives in a van that he put an address on, he... <laughs> enough with the, enough with the science is a bumper sticker? <laughs> like, they don't want to hear any more about science. Yeah. Like, it's up for debate. Yeah. Like, and it's like, let me get this straight, sir. Your car runs on science, okay? <laughs> you got GPS in there to take you to family court. You have uh, <laughs> automatic... <laughs> the other day, we reported that Amy Winehouse was taken to the hospital in St. Lucia. I just love that Amy Winehouse's personal car to get around this island is an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come to the hospital. Oh, are you uncomfortable? It I... sucks being pregnant, obviously. It's really hard. It's yeah. like, if I want to go out for a drink, I have to wear a baggy dress. You know? <laughs> They are doing the second season now of her show. It's called Denise Richards. It's complicated. Uh, I guess if you're the dumbest woman in America, everything probably is complicated. <laughs> the day she learned the word complicated was probably the happiest day of her life. Because <laughs> it described yeah. everything to her. <laughs> it's like when Bobby Brown learned the word prerogative. <laughs> You want to lay down or something? Kind of. I will eventually. <laughs> I feel bad that you're uncomfortable. You yeah, should feel bad. You, you have no idea what it's like to be a woman. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just hear people talking about how great it is to... I mean, it is obviously cool to be carrying a child. Yeah. And, like, I was thinking, like, someone's going to carry on my legacy after I die. Right. You know, I was thinking, like, someone's got to grow up and call Kylie Jenner's kid a whore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> At least on Airbnb, if someone's coming, it's like you can see if they're verified and like there's reviews. Like they should have a Yelp for <laughs> babies. You're right. All I know about this thing is the shape of its skull. <laughs> like, How's the shape? Good. <laughs> it seems normal. Uh huh. But okay. like, what if it sucks? You know. The baby. <laughs> do you know what kind of uh, mom you're gonna be? Are you gonna be the pushover mom who spoils <laughs> the kid? What do you What are you gonna be? I don't know. I, it's so hard, right? Yeah. I mean. I don't know, I feel like my kid's gonna have so many things that I never had, you know, like a warmer for wipes and a sound machine and a father. So. <laughs> like Hitler's mom didn't know. She was probably like, I hope it's a boy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fine. I, I can't think that well. Well, you know what happens? Uh, women often talk about having baby brain, you know, that when oh, they're- Oh, like when they just do stupid yeah, exactly, when they're pregnant. Yeah, their brain is, they do strange things, yeah. I, I got pregnant, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're gonna have a Hitler baby. I really think the odds of that are very low. You just don't know. <laughs> have you settled on a name? Do you know what you're gonna name the baby? Uh, well, my husband and I, speaking of Hitler, we are kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it was 
summertime in New York and it smelled and I was like, oh, it's so gross here. And I was like complaining and she's like, can you please not say anything negative about New York? I want them to think of New York as a vibrant city. And I was like, a homeless man literally just <laughs> into an Arby's bag right there. <laughs> I want to shield my child from that. <laughs> Pam Anderson has blogged to Barack Obama. I just think once you get your triple E implants, you waive all rights to give political advice ever. <laughs> so annoying, those two. I mean, Spencer could kill Osama bin Laden, and still nobody would care. <laughs> <laughs> but I find some Jewish names can be a little tough on the ears, you know? like. Doo doo, Schlema, Harvey <laughs> Weinstein. <laughs> Is that, right. Yeah, that's not a. That's not. Etta James has called out Beyonce, and she's pissed. The one way she could get back, Etta James could get back at Beyonce, is by opening up her shows with, oh, the single ladies, oh, the single ladies. You know, sometimes people would come up and have, like, these cute little pet peeves, like, she likes to, she likes to sleep with the dog on the bed, and I don't want the dog on the bed. And then, you know, sometimes this woman came up, and she was like, she came up with her husband, and she's like, he doesn't understand the role of father. And I was like, oh, we're just comedians. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm a little annoyed about all the sexual harassment because I just, I don't know, I just wish the people who sexually harassed me were a little more successful. <laughs> you know? a low level of sexual yeah, harassment? Yeah, like I feel like if I come forward, I'm only going to be helping these people. <laughs> I wish it was Harvey Weinstein. How about Harvey who works the deli counter? <laughs> it's Dancing with the Stars meets The Biggest Loser, so. <laughs> these shows have gotten so bad, I know what this show's gonna be. They're just gonna make the rules confusing. It's gonna be like, tonight the bottom two decide which <laughs> six will join the final five. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be one thing if guys would like take off their socks and leave them on the floor, but they'll like pick them up and then put them by the bread. Yeah. It's like, why are your socks by the bread? Yeah. Like, I was uh. talking to my husband the other day. He was eating corn chips, and then we were done with the conversation, and he put them in a plant and then walked away. complicated situation, but I propose that BP spend less time focusing on getting the oil off the fish and more time getting us more diamonds. I mean, if you think about it, the lifespan of a fish is, what, seven months? A diamond lasts for eternity. Look around, you just see people everywhere, fingers, necks, throats, ears, no diamonds, and this is only the beginning. Sanjay, I've been texting you about this all week. I mean, I was looking at my Blackberry, just sort of horrified by the whole thing. What, what I mean, what, where do you go from here? What, what needs to change on the ground now? What do people in America need to know? What can they do? I think awareness is a huge part of it, Anderson. I think uh, we can start donating immediately to the De Beers family, the main producers of diamonds. Uh, I've set up a link on my website. You can go to directly. Uh, just give me your credit cards. Uh, PayPal, and it'll go directly to the De Beers family in helping solve this big issue. We have to think of the children. I chose Haley for this date because she's really fun and unpredictable and just has a great zest for life. And um, she's very free with her body, uh, specifically her vagina. Mostly her vagina. Right there in your face. Mark is definitely hot. He reminds me of like a younger version of this teacher I used to there's a bunch of new reality shows that have been announced. It's Dancing with the Stars meets The Biggest Loser, so. <laughs> These shows have gotten so bad, I know what this show's gonna be. They're just gonna make the rules confusing. It's gonna be like, tonight the bottom two decide which <laughs> six will join the final five. <laughs> <laughs> America decides. Madonna and Guy Ritchie, divorce update. They agree to just kind of keep it discreet, her affair with A-Rod. Aren't her and A-Rod, like I know she wanted Guy Ritchie to put her in movies, and now A-Rod's got an idea that's a little better that are suited to her talents, they're gonna be opening gyms together. Oh, um, God. But I'll tell you what's gonna suck, I'll tell you what's gonna suck about the Madonna gyms, the music. <laughs> Excuse me, will you sign my petition? It's to, um, it's to end all petitions. 
The petition to end all petition. To put a stop to those annoying people who stand outside of grocery sure, stores. Sure, I'd love it. <laughs> okay. Wait. Thanks. I'm full. And it shows recent pictures of Tom Cruise's sweat-stained arp armpits. <laughs> I think he's sweating so much just because, like, imagine having to go through life that pumped. Like, every time they ask him anything, it's like, what'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Pancakes! <laughs> Natasha, Jenny says that after reuniting with her dad, she began to see him as a man first and her father second. Is this the grossest thing ever? Or after 30 years, is it understandable? <laughs> I don't think it's understandable. I mean, I think this, this uh, proves there are hillbillies in Australia. <laughs> it does, it does. I mean, hillbillies have been having sex with their relatives since the beginning of time, That's right? true, exactly. That's, That's where... how poor people are made. <laughs> the eyes say it all. Gross. Ugh. Ugh. Whatever. It's so stupid. Stop talking. Idiot. Whatever. I'm on ecstasy. The new fragrance by Natasha Leggero. The smell of sarcasm. Oh, this is so stupid. David Hasselhoff's website has a special offer for members. Personalized Hoff pictures for the holidays. You can have the photo personalized with your name on it and an autographed message from Hoff. Actually, for another $30, he'll come over to your house drunk and eat a cheeseburger on your floor. <laughs> You have a wife. Can you finish my spotlight? A wife. A wife. A wife. A wife. What? A wife. A wife. A wife. Not Hawaii. Wife. I think we have a language barrier. already in the first few episodes. Is there any you can tease or that you're so excited for viewers to see? Well, Ben Stiller Ooh. is doing, I mean, more than a cameo. He's in a whole episode and he plays Charles Ponzi, who invented the Ponzi scheme. Ah. And uh, uh, he produced the show, so that's how we got him. But we were also very lucky. He plays my ex-lover from when I was 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say they were mean. Those nuns were fine to me. They okay. <laughs> well, maybe they hate women, because nuns were so mean to me, they would slap me, they would, like, grab my chin. And, of course, the priests are, like, so nice to the boys. Yeah. And... <laughs> So was that part of your intent in the show is to do to do both and really keep people laughing, but like I think you it's know. fun to do both. Mostly we thought it would be funny for Armin to get raped. <laughs> <laughs> Young, beautiful women being forced to convert by their old fiancés with turkey necks. Old fiance with the turkey necks. A lot of turkey necks. Okay, all right. And which which one are you? Um, <laughs> I don't really feel comfortable answering that question. Mm -hmm. um, but I did bring a picture of my fiance. Okay, let's take a look. See, there he is. <laughs> 